Today, there is a subscription available for almost everything, and we all subscribe to some products or services for our different use cases. Now, I'm not sure about you, but it happens to me sometimes that I either end up losing some money because I auto-renewed a subscription that I never wanted to renew, or maybe losing access to a service just because I forgot to renew my subscription. Now, of course, there are some subscriptions management applications available in the marketplace, but they do much more than what I need, and that's why they come with a price tag. Now, these applications might be good for some, but I personally need just a simple system that can remind me a couple of times in advance of my subscription renewal date. So I decided to go with Google Sheet and a few lines of code to make my own very simple subscription management application. So the way this system works is you will have a Google Sheet where you will enter your event date. For example, entering your subscription renewal date, birthday date, anniversary date, etc. And then you will also tell system how many days in advance would you like to be notified. And then onwards, this Google script will keep working by itself and it will read these values every 12 hours to see if it is the time for it to send us email reminder. Now with that context, let me share my screen and show you how you can copy my Google Sheet including the script and use it as a simple subscription tracking application. To copy my Google Sheet subscription tracker, you will go to my website googledeorora.com and here you can search for subscription tracker. And then you will see this post which is all about subscription tracking. When you click on this one, it will show you the table of contents in case if you need to learn more about the limitations, features and how does this work. You can click on the relevant item. I will click on number three which talks about setting up this tracker. So I'll go to this section and then here there are essentially two steps. The first step is to copy the Google Sheet and when you click on this copy sheet it will give you a link to make a copy. So I'll click on that one. Make sure that you have already logged in with either your Gmail or G Suite account. If you haven't yet, it will ask you to log in with that because to copy a Google Sheet to your account, you should be logged in with your Gmail or G Suite account. So once you copy it, you will see that the script has been copied and now it has no connection with my sheet. So it is pretty secure. You are running it internally in your on Google account. If you want you can change the name so maybe I'll just call it my subscription tracker and here are a few columns which our script sheet will read and will send the email reminder. So let me give you a bit of explanation here. Now these columns are just from my reference but feel free to add or delete any columns as required. So in case if you're managing it for your customers, you can enter your customer name and then, you know, service vendor, service name, and then here you will enter your renewal date. So for example, if I say uh, my subscription is due for renewal on July 11th, 2020, then here you will end a couple of reminder states. For example, when should the system send you the first reminder? How many days uh, in advance? So also send me a reminder seven days in advance. That should be the first reminder. Or maybe you can say send me the first reminder 15 days in advance and second or last reminder should be sent when my service uh, is due for renewal in seven days. So you can put anything you want but make sure you're putting number of days here like just the number okay and then at the bottom you will see the name of the sheet is tracking sheet you should not change it if you change it here you will also need to change it in the script okay so this is uh, step number one where you just copy the sheet put your details like renewal date and reminder when you want to get it and then you will go to tools and under tools you will go to script editor when you click on script editor you will notice that the script has been copied from my sheet to yours and this is essentially our script which will read information from our spreadsheet and will send us the reminders now it will work perfectly if you just use the script and the sheet as it is 
but my understanding is that you might be uh, you know looking forward to delete some of the columns from here and add more columns to it so let me put some light on the script itself so that you can also change it based on your requirements if you look here in the first line we are getting the sheet by its name name is tracking sheet as you see our name is tracking sheet so if you change the name here maybe if you call it let's say my custom tracker or whatever you need to put the same name here in this line okay so that it can read the sheet now we are getting the uh, data from the sheet we are asking script to read start from row number second because first row is uh, the, the uh, header itself we're asking take all the information from row one, uh, row second column one uh, get the last row till the time we have the last row and then uh, last row minus one because we have the header as the first row and then finally get information from six columns so one two three four five six which means if you add let's say one more column here if you insert one on the left and maybe you want to give email uh, which should be uh, notified etc then instead of six you will be making it seven if you add two columns then you will make it eight so that your script can read these columns okay now once we have all that data which means we have read this data so far six columns all the rows then we are defining some variables here like custom customer name which is row zero which means this one uh, service vendor or vendor name service name etc it's a multi-dimensional array so for example it starts with zero so zero one two three so it's at number three so if you're saying in the row whatever is at number three that is our renewal date so in case if you are moving the columns maybe if you move from D to E then your renewal date let me just do that for a second so if I move it a bit now my renewal date is at what column zero make sure it starts with zero okay zero one two three four so now I will say my renewal date is at number four okay I'll put it back to number three where it was and move it back right here so this way you will help your sheet script understand which column includes which value in our case uh, the primary or the major uh, values are renewal date, reminder 1 and reminder 2. Okay, So what we are doing is we have a function at the bottom here which takes the date and then it also takes today's date and it gives us uh, the difference between today's date and the date provided. Okay, So what we will do here is we will put our renewal date for example July 11th 2020 and we want our first reminder should be sent 15 days before this date and the second reminder should be sent seven days before this date okay so we are taking our renewal date in this variable and then we are getting the days left by giving the renewal date and subtracting it from today's date and whenever the difference is equal to 15 days which means today's date minus this renewal date is equal to 15 days then we are sending our first email and here is our first email okay so in case if you need to change the email subject you can change this line uh, whatever is here if uh, you want to change some variables you know you can use any of the variables that you're using here if you add more columns you can add more variables here and then the second uh, email will be sent based on the days that we requested for the second email so that's the content here for the second email now by default if I'm running this script for example I have my email address here and the script is parsing my email address and it will use that to notify but in case let's say if you directly want to notify somebody else maybe directly your customers or somebody you can add one more column here 
uh, and call it maybe uh, recipient email address and you can put the email address there and then you will go here and you will see that I've listed some description here which will help you change the recipient email from the logged in user to uh, reading the seventh column where you have provided so that emails can be sent to those users. Okay, with that, I will do a quick test here. So let me log into my Gmail quickly and I will archive all the emails that I have. And let's see, today is uh, July 5th. Okay, and uh, our subscription let's make some changes here so I can show you quickly okay so today is uh, July 5th and uh, I want email reminder first email reminder to be sent seven days before this date okay so 7 11 11 minus 7 4 and today is what fifth so let's make it a bit now my renewal is due on 12th 12th minus 7 uh, which means 5th and today is 5th so if I do this I should get an email reminder so I'll go ahead and I will manually run the script to ensure that it is working and then we will automate it so because this is the first time you're running it you only need to review the permission choose the account that you want to run the script with and uh, then click allow to give script permission and if everything goes fine we should get the first email reminder as you see here okay hello there it's time to renew uh, you know these are all the variables uh, populated so you may change them and then it gives you the sheet link now let me show you something else if I let's say make it 10 days let me click that again it didn't work because the difference between today's date and my renewal date is 7 not 10 so it, it, it will not work as expected okay now I know my script has been working fine what I should do now is automate it so that I don't have to come here and run this function every time and for that you will click on this play icon and here we do not have any trigger yet so I will click on add trigger our function should be send reminders and then here uh, event source is uh, time driven and let's make it hourly timer and let's run it every 12 hours and notify us right away in case if script faces any issues so essentially we're asking Google to send this function every 12 hours by itself and notify us in case if there are any issues with the script and we will save it which means that next time when the script runs if it finds that the difference between renewal date and today's date is equal to either th these many days or these many days then it will send us an email reminder so it will send you two reminders based on the days that you defined here I've also added some frequently asked questions in my blog post so if you go to table of contents FAQ and then click on jump to section it will show you some of the questions answered but if you have any other question do not hesitate to reach out and I will be happy to collaborate with that thank you so much for watching and enjoy your time